What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword Shield, hopping onto that rank double ladder for Series 8. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an amazing team for you guys today. We got ourselves a Zacian team alongside with Sandstream, Tyranitar, and Sandrush Dracofish. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on the channel. But shout out to my boy Elias for dropping this team. It is looking amazing. Seriously, you rock out. Thank you so much for leaving this one for me. But Zacian is our first Pokemon. We're going to talk about him first. He's cool legendary. He's a Pokemon Sword legendary, obviously. He has Interpret Sword as his uh, ability and the Rusted Sword as his item. So once he gets into battle, he will get a free plus one attack boost, which is going to be absolutely amazing. Set us up perfectly, but the only flaw about him is he cannot Dynamax, but I think we'll be fine either way. This thing has close combat for coverage, protect, iron head for coverage, and then our stab move with play rough. Right next to him is our Assault Vest Sandstream Tyranitar with EQ, Lash Out, Dragon Call, and Rock Slide. Behind my face cam, we got ourselves our Tailwind Pokemon and Taunt Pokemon with Whimsicott with the Prankster ability and that Focus Sash. We got Helping Hand, Dazzling Gleam, and then like I said, Tailwind and Taunt. Right next to him is a Pokemon I absolutely love. You guys know how I love Screens Pokemon. We got ourselves Citrus Berry, Prankster, Grim Snarl with Reflect, Light Screen, Fake Tears, and Foul Play. Bottom left corner is our Life Orb Pokemon with Zapdos, Pressure Ability, Thunderbolt, Heat Wave, Hurricane, and Protect. I absolutely love this moveset on him considering he has a fire move for his coverage. Final spot is going to be a very strong Pokemon for our team. It's going to be our Sandrush Strikerfish. He doubles his speed in the Sand Streams, and then he has the Choice Band to do more damage. We have Psychic Fangs, Ice Fangs, EQ, and Fishish Ren as our stab big damage move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, Mental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Ranked Double Ladder and try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Zygarde team. That's looking really, really scary. Alongside with Galarian Moltres, Lapras, Grimmsnarl, Tapu Fini, and My Shell over here. I want to get my Zacian in the front spot. I got to get him rolling here. He does work up against a lot of these Pokemon, so we're going to get him out there. He also has the coverage move for that Tapu Fini with a uh, Steel move, which is pretty dope. I think I lead Wimscott as well. I think Wimscott's not bad here. And then bring Draco Fish and Tyranitar in the back end. We can get some weather control and get that uh, sand rush rolling. I think that's a solid team. I think it's a solid four for to go up against this one. And yo, look at this dude's name, bro. That's my name. It's Gino. <laughs> Jeans versus Gino right here. Yo, that's so weird. That is so weird, man. Oh my lord, and that's exactly how I spell it. Like most people spell it G I N O, and I spell it G E N O. <laughs> that's so weird. Like looking at this, it's just weird. That, that is weird, man. Like, this is throwing me off so hard right now. But hopefully we get a win. But if not, like, I win either way. It's either Jeans wins or Gino wins. You know you know what I'm saying? But let me go over my schedule with you guys. Considering Pikmin 3 is almost done, we have one more video for you guys. I'm going to be doing the finale later this week. And then by the time February 12th comes, which is Friday, uh, Super Mario 3D World will be out and about. So we're going to be doing a playthrough on that and Bowser's Fury. So we'll have Series 8 content and uh, what's called content as well. Uh, Mario content, which is going to be dope. But he's going to go Zygarde into my shell. Uh, my shell does have fake out. It does have fake out. And I might just protect this turn just for that. Uh, just because of that. You, I can't play rough on any of you. On any of you. I'm going to protect here because my shell, again, it has fake out. And then I could taunt. I could help in hand. Uh, I might just clean here. Do a little bit of damage all around. Or who's going to fake out? That's a real question. I'm going to try Tailwind here. I'm going to try Tailwind. I think you're going to try to fake out Zacian, right? I think you're going to try to get rid of the Zacian. Let's see what he does. Fake out comes out. Yes. Good call by Jeans. Good call by Jeans here. I'm going to be able to set up a nice little Tailwind. I'll be able to get after it this next turn. See what he does. He's gonna coil. Oh no! Crazy dog. Crazy man. His attack's gonna get boosted and his defense is as well. Oh jeez, man. I didn't. I didn't know this thing was coiling up. Now we're gonna get after. Actually, I cannot Dynamax the thing, which kind of stinks. I'm gonna go here, and I am going to Dazzling Gleam. So I can uh, take off Sash of my shell and uh, do some more damage onto Zygarde. I think Zygarde Dynamax is here. He does not. He does not. Which is stupid. Which was stupid. That was so stupid, Zygarde. That was stupid that you didn't Dynamax. Yo, he had a big Zygarde set up. He had a Zygarde with plus one defense, plus one attack. He totally should have Dynamaxed that thing and gotten after it. 
Oh my lord! That's huge. And he goes for a coach. He just wasted a turn. And we got it, dude. We're dominating this battle. This one's pretty much over with. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He does not Dynamax. Uh, we might have still been able to KO that thing if he did Dynamax it. I mean, we would have been cutting it close. We would have been cutting it close. But I could just go for a Behemoth Blade, but I'd rather just go for another Play Rough. Get that stab damage. Or I can show off Behemoth Blade. Dope. Actually, do I have Seal Typing on me now that I'm, like, transformed? I do. So, okay, cool. So we are going to be able to go for a Behemoth Blade. Get that stab damage. What does more? This one does. Oh, wait a minute. What's that say? It says, uh, the user becomes a gigantic sword. It cuts the target. This move deals double damage if the target is Dynax. Oh, that is sick. That is sick. But I'm still going to uh, go after that thing. Do that and then go for Dazzle Beam. Should be able to pick up another easy double KO. He's going to withdraw the my show. That's totally fine. He's going to go into Tapu Fini, which I should be able to outspeed. And he's going to Dynamax the next turn. So I'm going to be able to do double damage on that thing. Oh, I'm liking where we're sitting. We're sitting real pretty here. Zazzy's just going to be able to dominate this first battle. He's going to drop its seeds. He's going to get a special defense boost, right? Yep, special defense boost. Trick is coming out here. We don't have an item. We do not have an item. What is this guy doing? Like, these are Master Ball tier battles. Like, these are Master Ball tier battles. And these guys are pulling off these moves. He had this match set up pretty well with the coil and his eye. Got me scared. I think get me scared. As and Lean comes out, Philip doing a teeny bit of damage. And he's going to be able to fake me out. And in that case, I protect against Zacian. I'm going to protect Zacian again before I do go into another Behemoth Blade. Because I do not want him to just uh, dump on me and go into a fake out. I'm just going to go here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. Have we been touched yet? I don't think we've been touched yet. <laughs> We were just dumping on this guy. He just canceled the battle. Jeans takes the victory. Let's get it, guys. Did we take any damage in that last battle? I don't think we did. That might be my first time I didn't take damage. We actually might have taken damage. I totally forget, but it seems like I didn't take anything. But second battle coming at you guys. Trying to get a win streak rolling. We're going up against a oh a glacier uh glacier ice rider or Calyrex ice rider team right here. Looking scary. I know it's physical attacking now. He also has the Rotom Heat. He has the uh, Tornado, so he can set up Tailwind and he can go into taunts with that. He also has Kartana, Ursfu, and uh, Tapu Fini. So I think Zacian's got to come in here. Zacian's got to be able to do some work. Uh, or I could just go with the Sandstream boys. The Sandstream boys are looking good and bring Zacian in the back end. Hmm. I like Zacian here. I, I could go Grimstarl as well. Grimstarl, or I could do those Aptos. What do I want to do here? What do I want to do? I kind of want to go Zapdos, considering we have that Life Orb. With that air move, I could Dynamax him. I am liking this. I am really liking this. Or what do I want to do? I I'm liking this. I'm liking how we're looking here. Because I don't want him leading Rotom. And just uh, posting that huge start onto my Wimscott or Zacian. So I think I just go into my with my Sandstream boys. I can outspeed with my Draco Fish, basically anybody here. Unless he's going to set up a Tailwind. But then we might just uh, fish his friend and try to drop that thing as quick as possible. But then he still gets it off because he's prankster. But I think we're fine. I really do think we're sitting pretty decent here. He's going to lead. I think Tornados is definitely in lead. Yeah, Tornados and Urshfu is going to pop out here. That's fine. I could protect it. I cannot protect it. I cannot do that. Considering he hits through protects. And stream is popping. Which I really like. I could guard. I could Dynamax. But I think I just uh, drop a rock slide here. And I go for a fish run. I think it's fun. Let's see what he does. Definitely probably going to go for a Tailwind. I think he's just going to dump on my T-Tar here, which is kind of scary. But then we just bring out what's it called? We just bring out Zacian. Let's, really, let's see what this thing's going to do. Let's just see what's happening. I don't think he Dynamax Search Boo. Or Tornadus. I think he tries to set up a Tailwind or something along those lines. Yeah, there goes the Tailwind. Uh, can Draco Fish out speed with the Sand Rush? He might be able to. He does not, which stinks. Quick and Flow is going to come through here. I think we should be able to eat this up. We don't. Wow. Wow. I just thought we were going to be able to eat that up. But Rock Slide is going to pop. Drake of Fish drops turn one. That kind of stinks. <laughs> that kind of stinks. Doing some big damage on the Tornadus. Uh, Buffets is going to take it out, which is huge. And I am going to bring out Zacian. I am going to bring out Zacian. I wonder if Zacian knows. No way Zacian else with that. Okay. Okay, let's get after this, boy. What you want? A little bit of Buffett's damage going on to that. I could bring out Zathos and Dynamax. So that might be play. Start speed boosting my Tyranitar. Hmm. 
Who do I think he's gonna bring out? I don't really know. We're gonna save Zassian definitely for the back end. We're definitely gonna try to save Zassian for the back end. Try to get Tailwind to end. So we have speed advantage. He's gonna bring out the Rotom. That's fine by me. So good thing we didn't drop the Zass. Here's my Zapdos. He does have electric on him, but so we're electric typing. Pressure's gonna come out. And I am going to I could drop an EQ, but again, I think it's levitated. Really don't want to mess with it. I'm just gonna drop this. And I think I just a Dynamax and I go into an airstream, start speed boosting, and take out this Urshfu at the same time. That Urshfu's choice band. It's gotta be choice band. Dealing that much damage over onto my Draco Fish. He's gonna Dynamax the Rotom, which is totally fine by me. There's no way this thing's policy or anything. I might drop a flare to try to change up the weather. It might be his play. Oh, he is Dynamax and Urshfu. Okay. Alright, boy. So he is gonna Dynamax. He might drop a Knuckle. He probably is gonna drop a Knuckle to try to take out my Tyrantar. See what happens here. Let's just see what happens here. Like I said, I have Zassian in the back, so if we can start doing big damage and take out this Urshfu, I think we should be fine. I think we should be chilling here. Let's see how this battle goes. But first battle, we absolutely dominate. Second battle, this one's looking a little closer. We took out my Draco Fish real quick, which was tough. I at least wanted to get off one fish just right now into whatever Pokemon. That would have changed tides to usually here. Uh, Rotom's gonna protect. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. We're trying to drop a Rock Slide onto it. So, I'm cool with that. And he's gonna go for a Knuckle. Take out my Tyrantar, no problem. And I am gonna be able to get off an of Airstream here, which I really, really like. So, Airstream is gonna be able to come out here. This thing is gonna go up plus one, which is scary. Um, hmm. Will Zapdos be able to... No, Zapdos won't be able to outspeed this now. Let's see what happens. Let me pick up the KO. We are Life Orb. This is Stab. Let's see. We are able to pick up the KO. So, that is huge. That is honestly huge. I like that a lot. Okay, uh, get out Zassian. I think Trick Room, or not Trick Room, Tailwind ends in one turn. So I can protect this turn, do, deal some damage over onto the Rotom slot. And then roll from there. Rotom's gonna take some little bit of buffets. What move did Rotom go for? What did Rotom go for? I'm kinda confused here. What did Rotom try to do? Did he set up a plot or something? I'm all confused. What did Rotom do? <laughs> I'm really confused. He's gonna be unnerved. Can drop an ISO crash, can do a lot. Our attack boost is coming through. I really, really like. Did Rotom set up a plot? Let me see this thing. I don't even know what move they used. Unless it missed. Like, what the heck? I'm so confused. <laughs> I totally forget what happened, but I think I just protect this thing. I could go for a behemoth blade if I really want to, but is Tailwind two turns left or one? I think it's one, right? I know it's gone. What does he have? To be honest, yeah. He oh, he has two. I don't like that. I think I'm gonna protect and start trying to get some speed boost out here. I could flare, which I might do. I might just airstream over onto you. Hmm. Could flare, but then that helps him out. So I'm just gonna airstream over onto the Calyrex slot. Zorotop might protect or something. Calyrex is gonna protect. You biscuit, man. You biscuit, I'm protecting too. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'm protecting too. But again, we're getting some speed boost for my Zacian, which I really like. Because he's already like 197 something. Like, I think it's 197. I think that's what he's at. Which is nice. And what's called should be fast on the field now. I think Zapdos should be able to outspeed everybody. So I can get off another speed boost here. And try to take out this Rotom. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be a close battle. Speed boosts are trying to clutch up for us. So Buffett's by the Sandstorm popping. Uh, what's called actually doesn't take him, which is huge. That's him because he's Steel type. So plus for us there. Okay. Now we go into Behemoth Blade. Um, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go after you. And then do I go for another Airstream? He's gonna overheat on me. Oh my lord, I don't like this one bit. Might just do this. I can't do anything up against that Rotom. That Rotom's an absolute beast. That's like close combat onto it. The Calyrex can't protect, so I'm gonna go after you. And I am going to... I think I'm just gonna Airstream. I get speed boost. Try to do as much damage as I can to this Rotom. This Rotom's just posing that big threat right now. Here goes my Airstream. Doing some nice damage. He's going to be able to eat up a berry. And again, I do outspeed it now. Uh, Zassian should be able to take out this Calyrex, no problem. And it should be faster than this Rotom. 
I'm kind of liking where we're sitting here. There goes my behemoth blade. The so Calyrex should be gone here. We're plus one. And then I think what's called goes down here, though. Zassy into an overheat. But then he drops an overheat. That means his special attack goes down. So we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. So good call by me to actually Dynamax his Zapdos and bring him in in the back end over a support mon. Again, overheat's going to come out here. Hopefully we eat this up. That would be awesome. Yeah, I didn't think we were eating it up. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to eat this one up. And there goes his special attack. So we should be sitting perfect here. Zassian comes in, cleans in that very, very strong Calyrex because that Calyrex was posing a threat over onto my Zapdos slot. And I, this one's over with. This one is 100% over with. That's GG's. That's GG's. We outspeed. And don't we have Protect? So I can just Protect and have the Buffets take it out. But his special attack is dropped. We're going to go 2-0. Oh. We've been dominating. We've been absolutely dominating. Um, I'm just going to Protect here. I'll play this one smart. Let's see if he quits. I will Protect here. I will drop a lovely little protect. See if the buffets will take him out. Just so I don't miss and he gets off a free move, you know? I'd rather just do it, do it this way. Sandstorm subsides. That was done by me then. <laughs> well, it, it, it just made this battle longer, really. Uh, what's our highest percentage move? It's going to be T-Bolt. And we're going to be able to drop a Thunderbolt. And pretty much pick up this KO, right? Pretty much pick up this KO, right? Yep, GG, baby. 2-0, your boy Jeans is buzzed here. We can hop into our third and final battle and try to get ourselves a perfect record with this amazing Sandstorm Zassian team. Third and final battle. Looking for that perfect record for the Jeans Online Gamer Community, baby. Looking for it for you guys. Going up against the Ubelta team over here alongside with one of the strongest Pokemon ever, Toga tomorrow. Oh my god, I love that Pokemon so much. He's an absolute beast. He also got Incineroar with that Intimidate. Gotta watch out for that with my Zacian. He also has Rillaboom, Metagross, and Glacier. Okay. Um, I think I go in, set up a Tailwind. I might actually not even go for the Tailwind. He doesn't really have too much speed. I mean, I could totally take Speed Control. But I might just go Tyranitar. Mm. He's definitely bringing in... 100% he's bringing in the, uh, the Incineroar. That thing's scaring me, man. It really is scaring me. I could go Zacian and try to get after it. I'm gonna go plus one. I think I still leave Zacian. Try to roll off from there. Hmm. Get off a Tailwind. Try to get buzzing. Uh. Yeah, I think I have to. Let's bring in this squad. Oh, I could set up screens turn one. I think I have to get out Zacian. I like a our team is very physical, so Intimidate really does do a lot of work. Our whole team is physical besides Whimsicott. So he might just lead Incineroar, parting shot, or try to swap out instantly. And just because if he keeps Incineroar in this match, he's going to win this game, hands down. Very, very easy. Very easy. So this one's going to be a tough one for us. It really is. Hopefully we can get it. We're already sitting at 2 0. We got Shelf Zassian pretty well. And Incineroar's got to come out here, right? That's got to be a fact. Yeah. Yeah, all right. It's all that coming from Mile West. From Mile West. Would have been dumb for him not to bring it. So he's just gonna cancel out my uh just gonna cancel out my uh my plus one attack. Okay, so play here is going to be to probably protect Zassian here. And maybe drop a tailwind or or do I gleam? We already outspeed. I might just gleam here and do a little bit of damage. I'm definitely protecting you. And I think I do drop a Gleam here. I think it might be Policy. Or it could be a Soul Vesset. Maybe I Tailwind here. I am going to Tailwind here. Hopefully he doesn't pick out my Wimscott. If he picks out Wimscott, Dynamax goes to an Airstream. That's GG's. Already. <laughs> but it's just like, oh. I feel like he's uh, seeing Zassian as such a big threat. He might try to fake him out. But he, knowing that I cannot Dynamax him. Because he's a, he's, a, he's a Pokemon that, that is not allowed to Dynamax. I'm going to protect turn one. Hopefully he drops that fake out onto the slot. That's what he does. Protect's coming. Oh, Protect's coming out from else. Okay, so Tailwind was a good turn. Tailwind's gonna come out here, and I wonder what Incineroar is going for a Flare Blitz? I'm kind of liking this first turn. I'm gonna go for a Burning Jealousy. That's fine. We block here. And can Whimsy eat? I think it's Rock and Burning Jealousy, which is pretty cool. Which guy is gonna be able to eat up just fine. And I am able to drop a Play Rough onto whoever I want. Which is gonna be you. Then I think I just gleam. The Belta is posing that huge, huge threat. We might swap him. I can totally see that happen. Look what he does. Look what he does. We are plus one. So if we get off this player up, that's fun for him. Oh no, we're not plus one. We're even. We're even. Surprised he's not 
going for maybe like a parting shot. Maybe I should have taunted him. But I think he's, yeah, there goes the withdrawal. Pretty smart by him. He's gonna send out who? Somebody to eat up these shots? Togi. Togi. You avoid it? What you mean? Oh, you really just avoided that. You, mmm. Buttery biscuit, man. Gonna go for a U turn here. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. And who's gonna bring out? Whom are you going to bring out? Fine, sir. You're gonna bring back out Yvelta and swap back in? And who are you gonna bring out? He's pretty much starting nuzzling. He's gonna bring back out Yvelta. I think he's gonna protect him. So I'm gonna keep Dacian in this turn. I think I might just close combat. Over onto the Togi slot. Take you out. And then, uh. I mean, I guess I'll throw a Gleam. I guess I'll throw a Gleam if he doesn't protect. I'll swap out Zassi next turn because he's going to go for an Intimidate. I might just get out Sandstorm Tyranitar here. Oh, he oh, whoa there. Whoa there. He's Dynamax. He's throwing me a curveball. He's throwing me a curveball. I did not think he was Dynamaxing. With Zassi on the field and, and what's it called? And Whimsicott, yo, big plays by this guy. Guys, guys, grooving. He's gonna, oh, he's gonna fake me out. That's what he's doing. Mm, not liking that at all. That's what he comes out. Is this like policy? Please tell me it's not policy. It is, yo. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Chill on me. I told you, Togo tomorrow is the strongest Pokemon in the game. Airstream's coming through. On the whims. Okay. Okay, he might he probably is just going to nuzzle me next turn, or he might just swap. Um, I think I pose a big threat by getting out Tyranitar, Dynamax, and him. Yeah, Dynamax him and throw in that rock on that spot. I was gonna swap into Incineroar. Just swap into Incineroar on a Togi slot. So I think I just go for a rock onto the Incineroar slot. Hmm, this one's tough. This one is gonna be really tough. I have to go here. I have to go there. Could Quake and get a special defense boost. Hmm. I think I just Quake. In case he doesn't, in case he doesn't, uh, in case he doesn't swap, we still do damage onto this Togi. Let's see what he does. Yeah. Yep, instant ore. Yep. Spell that from my way. So now we're both minus one. I am, I am still Dynamaxing. Um, we do outspeed, actually, Dassey will outspeed uh, your belts all day, but I don't know about Tyranitar. He's plus one. We are in Tailwind. That's going to be kind of close here. Well, this is a good battle. This is a good battle. I knew it. I knew, like, Incineroar was just going to be, like, such a pester here. But, like, I called that from the beginning. I'm just like, he's bringing Incineroar. He's going to be able to roll out here and do a lot of work. But let's see what he does. We are going to get special defense boost, which is nice because your belt is special defense or special attacking. He is going to guard. He is going to guard, which is... I'm at me. Earth's gonna come out. Blah. I might swap. Do I swap. Dashing? Do I swap Dashing? Does this, this is KO? It's not, which is kind of annoying. Just quite annoying. Here's my special defense boost. Um, He's gonna be able to fake me out, so I might just protect uh, Dashing here. Take out Incineroar. Do I take out Incineroar? Kenwin does Peter out. Protect. I'm protecting. I'm not playing around. To drop a rock. Sorry, policy proc, so I am going to drop a rock. Dang, dude. Is Incineroar going to swap again? Going to Togi? I can totally see that happening. Again, I still have my boy in the back. I still have Draco Fish in the back, which I'm liking. This is going to be a long battle. That, that Intimidate's going to be a pain in the neck. But I have to protect so he doesn't just get a fake out free KO on my Zassi and then we can waste out his Dynamax turns. Is this his third? This is his third final turn here. Hopefully we can do some work on it. We got stab going, but we are minus one. There goes the withdrawal. Um I think I withdraw my Zassi next turn. That might be the play. I'm protecting here. I think I have to withdraw my Zassi next turn, just have him in the back more. There goes an airstream. Go over on Zassi and slot. Does we are protected up, so we do eat. He's gonna start getting some speed boosts. He does have a fake out on deck right now, and he can nuzzle as well. So I'm gonna swap Zassi next turn. 
Here goes my rock ball. Get it. Built. Doing some nice damage. Because the thing is here, if he swaps into Incineroar with my Draco Fish on the field, my Draco Fish can still do a lot of damage with the Fish's Ran and Choice Band. So, mm, it's going to be tough. Uh, we are going to swap my boy here. Draco. And I can totally see what's called just protecting. I can really see Yavelta protecting us, so I am going to take out the Togo tomorrow. That scene drops. Like I said, uh, Yavelta could just protect you. There's Draco. Does Yavelta protect? Just for Oblivion Wing. Oh, you crazy, man. He's going to get some HP back and he's going to KO here. Doesn't pick out. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Rough call by Jeans. He's back up to him as full. He's doing me dirty. Doing me dirty, man. Bolt switch coming out here. Oh, my lord. Good part is that Zacian is not going to be minus one. So, that's good. Very good. That is very good. <laughs> that is very good. But, uh, my boy, uh, Tyranitar is going to be, uh, minus two. But I still think we pick up the KO here, right? And we do get a special defense boost. Him Nate coming out here, obviously. Go ahead, do that. There's my Quake. Quake should be able to still pick up KO. Get after it. Oh, Take him out. Yes. Okay, so he still has Togo tomorrow, who he's going to bring back out for a fake out. So he's going to bring him back out for a fake out. Just to play. I think I just double protect this next turn. It's got to be our play. Zacian's back out here. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. I don't, I don't think I get another attack boost. I think I already used my spell. Unless it's every time I get into battle. That'd be, that'd be pretty OP. <laughs> that'd be pretty nuts. It doesn't have Intimidate anymore. Yvelt is still policy proc. I don't like that one bit. He is boosted in speed. Um, hmm. So I might just double protect here. He, he, I'm surprised he hasn't nuzzled us up yet. Surprised he hasn't nuzzled us up yet. Here goes Togi back out, right? Yes. Togi, Togi's just posing. Oh, we do. We do boost up again. Ooh. Ooh. Um, what's the play here? I think double, yeah, double protect's probably our play. Protect. We do not have double protect, so I am going to protect you. Good EQ. I am just going to drop a rock slide, try to do as much damage as I possibly can over onto that Yvelta. And I think he might uh, try to get it for my Zacian. But I have to protect. I have to protect. Just think, if he doesn't get it for Zacian, I'm doing big damage on the Yvelta. He might protect his Yvelta. I could see that coming. Ah, uh, this match. This is a good one. This is a good third battle, though. A really good third battle. If we pull this off, I'm a god. But I, I don't think I'm going to pull it off. I think this guy's pretty much, he has the advantage on me, hands down. He still has a third and final Pokemon that he hasn't shown off yet. Is that coming out from me? Blah. Put my block up. Put my block up. They got coming out. Block. So good, good little protect from me. He's going to go for Oblivion Wing. Oh, double protect. Ooh. Ooh, Rock Slide connects. Yes, sir. Doing some damage. Doing some damage. We are minus two, which I don't like. Everyone's taking buffets besides us, which is nice. Or, or not uh, until tomorrow. Now I drop the play rough. What about close combat? Good hmm. dragon claw. I'm probably going to lash out here over on you. Because play rough will pick up the KO onto you about to, if he doesn't protect. I don't want to see what he's going to do here. He's going to nuzzle me. Oblivion Wing is going to come out here. Yo, chill on me, man! Eat this up. Eat it up, Zass. Zass eats. I can get rid of this Yvelta here. That's huge. Because we would turn into one of the fastest on the field. Zassian is faster than... <gasps> no! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How do we miss our play rough? We would have been fastest on the field. Bro, and who's this, who's this last man? Real, okay, Rillaboom would have been able... Oh, this one would have been super close. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. How we miss our play rough like that. How we just miss our play rough like that. That's GG's now. GG's now, man. I don't like this game. I really don't like this game. I'm going to protect because he has another fake out. Oh my lord, we really just missed our play rough? Bro, your belt should be dead. 
Should be dead. Protect this turn. Guess I'll rock slide. <laughs> like, I guess I'll rock slide. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll rock slide here. Oh my lord, man. Oh, this one would have been super, super close without Yvelta. So it would have went Togo tomorrow and him with double fake out ready to go. Um, He's probably going to grass glide into me. He's just going to go straight for a wood hammer. That's going to KO me, right? Yeah, this one's over now. This one's over now. Man! That's rough news. That's rough news. That one would have been real, real close. We would have been restoring some HP. We're plus one. I probably could have took out that Rillaboom this turn. Would have been a good one. Would have been a good one. But we go down in this end. We go 2 1 with the team. Strong third battle and awesome battles all around for this video. One last shout out to my boy Elias. Elias, thank you so much for dropping this team. It was absolutely phenomenal. We went 2 1, had a close third and final battle, but ended up losing it in the end. I believe Zassian is actually one of the strongest physical attackers now. Especially, he just gets that easy plus one boost, and he can basically one shot everybody. So, not being able to Dynamax him is actually a blessing because he would be super, super OP. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock. Out. Thank you so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.